water is uh, the next oil. We either learn how to live within our means and protect what we have, or we'll be very, very thirsty. This is an amazing joint effort. This project is going to provide not only jobs, it's going to provide fire suppression and water security and water security for the town of Bodega and keep water in the creek for fish. Like many towns in coastal California, they've got significant water supply strategy conundrums. How do they supply a adequate volume of water to their customers of high enough quality throughout the year and also do it in a manner that doesn't compromise the health of the endangered fishery of which they live adjacent. And their water comes from shallow wells right next to Salmon Creek. That's a huge difference for water for the fish in Salmon Creek. In the event of a, a major crisis in the area, we could run the town dry within a matter of an hour or two. It's a Mediterranean climate, so we get a short winter, we get a long dry season, and in a drought, we've got a longer dry season and a shorter winter because less water's coming down. So during the summer when it's driest, when there is no rain, that's when the biggest demands for water are on the watershed. So you have a lot of streams that run dry in the summer. So if you, if you really put this in kind of a holistic perspective, we're not really dealing with a water scarcity problem. We're dealing with, with a scarcity of storage. And every drop we can catch during a drought year and store is a drop that we don't need to take from the creek. It's a drop we don't need to take from somebody else who might want to use the water otherwise in their home. There had been enough community organizing and planning in Bodega and other people in the community who had done roof water systems that there was some proof of concept of the viability of the idea. Really seeing an opportunity here to develop a community scale water supply fishery enhancement strategy of diversified roof water harvesting. So when people up on the hillside can conserve water and make a difference, I, I think that's a long-term benefit for our fish and our whole systems. So when the Water Institute first heard about the fact that Bodega was building a new fire hall, and it became pretty dang obvious that we should certainly come up with a roof water harvesting tank built into the green architecture or blue architecture of this building. Average rainfall in Bodega is 39 inches a year, and all of our systems are designed to be effective if we only get 25 inches of, of rain a year. So we're, we're pretty confident that even in a pretty severe drought, these systems will accomplish exactly what we're, what we're setting out to accomplish. Security for the residential landowners who are going to have lower water bills, a more reliable water supply, and then security in terms of fire. This system here will give us water for our training purposes as well as structure and wildland firefighting during the season. So we hope it, we can dramatically reduce our use of the water. The first is the fire department. The second, we're installing a variety of sizes of residential rainwater catchment systems. They range from 10,000 gallons up to 39,000 gallons. It's, it's a really nice project to be able to bring what is often a couple of components that are at head, which is agriculture, uh, residential use, and saving our environment or, or conservation. And here, it's a win-win across the board, and we're working to uh, bring the economy back. So putting people to work to get this work done. It's so if we can see that this type of, of program succeed here and then be applied in other places, that, that would be just amazing. Well, actually, I was thinking worldwide. Yeah. Actually, is proof that federal funds uh, spent wisely uh, make a great dif difference to a community. This fire station uh, being able to secure water so this for the safety of the community, and of course, then the fish are safer because we're not taking their water. Look at, you know, they all that money and they did this little tiny project. It's huge. Yes. It's wonderful. Yeah, and hopefully it'll go all the way to the ocean.